she is, she is. Hey y'all. Let me try to get it. Hey guys, happy Labor Day. It's Monday, sh Monday. Everybody's off. I'm wearing white on Labor Day. In the car. Oh. <laughs> we have Eddie. He spoke today. Look at God. We have Camila. Hello. And we have Biscuit. Say hi, big boy. He's tired. He might be car sick. So we finally got a dog. Ugh. Child. Crazy, right? Because y'all know my whole journey. Just want to scooch on in over here really quickly. Okay, so this portion of the video is sponsored by Ritual. Because y'all know with sponsorships. Girl, you get a coin for that. I so like it. Right. So I saw some of my friends taking Ritual and I really, really love the packaging. Like I'm a supplement person, but I'm also a packaging person. And Ritual off top visually sold me. Okay, so really quickly y'all, Ritual was made by a woman, which makes me feel good, okay, as a woman. But not only does Ritual create essential nutrition in multivitamin forms for women, but it's also for men, also for prenatal and postnatal, even for kids and teens his and hers as well as protein like daily shakes um that are essential for your nutrition um so that's one of the reasons why i really really love ritual but i'm not i'm not gonna lie i really love how they look but ritual is so different from others because it's made traceable so it has high quality nutrients you'll know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from because ritual has a one-of-a-kind visible supply chain so they actually show you the source of each nutrient on the label and its supply um, and not only that, they have high quality nutrients. So um, they have like partners worldwide with ingredients that meet the standards for high quality nutrition. Y'all, it's also 100% recyclable materials, environmentally friendly. Everything is vegan. So if you prefer that, it is vegan. So I mean... <sighs> Ritual is just great. So when it comes to anything clean, whether it's for my hair, my skin, what goes in my body, I'm here for it because I'm just trying to live a healthier life. I struggle, but I have little small baby steps in getting there. So, I mean, I brought all that information to you as quickly as I could. So I definitely have to let you guys know that there is a 10% code for you guys to try for your first three months. So check below in the description box for 10% off of your order of Ritual. But he is growing on us. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen him. If you follow Eddie, you've already seen him. So he is a Morky Poo. Today he's officially nine weeks. And, and, birthday <laughs> <laughs> and he's been driving us. Well, driving me crazy because he's not potty trained. So, you know, it's a little difficult. But we love him. Who said that? We were going to get rid of him. Uh, I really asked Eddie to. to and Eddie did. <laughs> Eddie did put him on Craigslist. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna do that because I was dead no, serious. No, I was. I was tired of him. Like he was driving me crazy. Like running. So like we keep him in Camila's room, right? And he will run out into the bedroom, and I'm not with him being in any parts of the house if he's not potty trained. I don't like. I just you know. So. We've been vacuuming like crazy, spraying all the time, because we just want to keep her room extra fresh and stuff. But he had a little moment where he was just, where he was just, he's, he gets, you know, Morky Poo's are very hyper. Um, and it was, it was just a lot, y'all. Like, it was a lot. And he has his moments. He's really cute when he's chill. When he's chill like this, you can't even see him. What is he doing? When he's chill like that, he's a sweetheart. But when he's too hyper, but when he's, he's a hyper, bad boy. he is a hot mess. So I was in the bathroom, and mom was, and I don't know where mom was. I don't know if she was in my room or not. But biscuit, when I came out, biscuit pooped, and so and he stepped in it, and he was waiting for me because it's what he usually does when he's like in his little playpen area. He usually waits for me to come out of the bathroom. Then I saw the poop and I was like, he pooped. So I picked it up and then we put him in his crate so I could pick it up. And then after mom was watching him, he threw up and it looked like his poop. And I was like, how did he, well, I didn't even see me in his poop, but 
I was like, oh, I was in the bathroom, so he probably stepped in it and ate it, and then he ate, he ate the throw up. So if you're eating and you're watching this, <laughs> please, please, <laughs> just skip this part if you're eating. It's too late. I'm so sorry. Hi, big boy. <laughs> How do you enjoy having a dog? Well, I mean, I've had dogs before. Yeah, lots of them. I never had a dog from a puppy. Starting as a puppy, I always get them like in the when they're a little bit, a little bit older, but not an actual puppy that's like weeks, weeks old. I never had that. So having to treat him like he's a baby because that's what he is, which my wife doesn't understand that. I don't think she understands that. That's why she gets so upset and texts me. I want to get rid of the dog. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of this. She's I'm, tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of mopping. I'm tired of cleaning. That's but what you're going to have to do for the rest of your life. It's, it's a puppy, so I mean, it's going to be a little bit difficult at the start to try to have him be potty trained. We're trying. We got the spray. It's like he'll pee in the spot. Like, oh, good boy. And then he'll walk two feet forward. And then pee again on the floor, so it's like <laughs> that always um, gets mom mad. But once he eats and runs around for a little bit, he goes to sleep. Wakes up at like six, six forty-five every morning. Makes makes a whimpering noise. That means he wants to come out the cage. It causes me to wake up too. So he wakes us up, and then he'll eat. Walk, run around for a little bit, be up for like only about two, maybe three hours, and then he'll go back to sleep. So when he sleeps, it's cool. Best part about having puppies when they sleep is they're not doing nothing but sleep. That's true. I mean, you know, it's not the first time ever having a pet. I've had a fish, but I've never had a pet because I've always been fearful of them. So I've learned patience but i've learned patience with having a, a daughter this is a whole different thing like this thing be thinking come here don't let him fall if you throw up in my car we gonna have some gonna be some smoke in the city <laughs> guys the nickname should be calling biscuit and every and the way she be talking to you get out just you little make nasty. <laughs> anyway, so this is our life. We are a family of four. And I don't mind going back to being a family of three. I'm just saying. Anyway, so we are headed to me and Camila's favorite spot. Eddie. Oh, remember I told y'all the place that's in Long Beach called Ground Coffee yeah, Hideout? Out and how I wanted Eddie to try it, right? Because I was like, he's not going to lie. He's going to be like, it's cool or it's whack. We finally got it. He wasn't a huge fan of it. He said he's had better. But I just think because it wasn't like, it was like lukewarm. It wasn't super hot. Because, um, you know, we're, we're not super close to Long Beach anymore. So, you know, having to get it back and keep it warm, maybe that was the case. I don't know. I mean, but I think it's delicioso. Delicioso. It's, it's not whack. We're going, so obviously you don't think it's and this color, I'm so washed out. Is that better? Anyway. I was able to do a little puff of my hair. I haven't been able to do a puff since my hair has grown. Um, but it's like, it's old, so I think that's why it worked. So, that's where we're going. We're gonna go to Ground Coffee Hideout, get some breakfast. It's a little pricey, though. Um, because you know it's a little cafe or whatever. Um, and then we're probably going to go to Petco and get... If I'm blurry, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what the issue is. But we're going to go to Petco. We don't have a leash that's big enough. Because it's super... T I, I know you guys probably... Yeah, you can't really tell. Well, he is extremely little. Like, he's very, very small. He's bigger on camera, but yeah. in real life, he's really small. Yeah, he seems really big on camera for some reason, but he's small. So we need to find like a leash and like some spray because his head be small like sneeze. We can only, the breeder said we can only wash him in the, or Dawn soap. And so Eddie does that because he don't like baths or whatever. And I don't want him to. But no anyway. matter how much you guys clean him, he still smells like a dog. Well, he is a dog. Um, hey, 
head is what smells because we can't like bathe his head because his ears and stuff. So, like the body won't stink, but like his head, his head be a little funky. You know, he got scalp issues or something like that. Oh. He be seen it degrees of scalp or something like that. It'd be stinking. But anyway, yeah. try to find some spray or like some dog shampoo. Um, and then I don't, you guys know De La Soul. Um, if you don't know, well, you probably do know. But De La Soul, she her boyfriend is a breeder, so she's been helping me out. And uh, well, Eddie knows what to do. But like you said, like he said, he's never had a puppy, um, and so they be having like multiple dogs and cats in their house, or whatever. Um, so she told me there's like some whitening shampoo or something like that. Cause this coat to me reminds me of a possum. Wow, go be. I'm in home. Ready to try to get my my money, Camila. I was over here, I was pregnant with you, taking a class in here, family science building. I had to walk and go right here. You don't care? So that's where I went to school, Cal Columbia. I don't know if you guys know that, but yeah. So we passed fourth. So I make a left on, a left on. I don't know, I just know when I see it. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna put my left. Anyway, I just wanna show you guys where I went to college. So we enjoyed our little breakfast. Eddie and Camila just went into, hold on, let me show y'all. They just went into Unleashed by Petco. Um, and then Homeboy is right here. He, ugh, y'all. He has some stuff on his eyes. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like some crust right there in his eyes. Look at me touching a dog. I know, y'all have not grown. I grew, huh? Your girl has grown. I've held him, I let him, you know, lick, even lick my cheek. Ooh, child, I even let him lick my cheek. He has some crust around his eyes that we didn't even really notice until seeing him in the sun. So Eddie is going in um, Petco to see like what he can find, as well as some dog, I think I mentioned this, some dog shampoo. Um, because we can't get his head and his head, his head, his head, his head He did pee on Camila while we were out there. He's really good at holding his pee. Like if we carry him around the house, he will not pee. He will not do any of that. Not boo boo, none of that stuff. Until we put him down the pee pad. But he was shaking like crazy when we walked into the, um, to the coffee ground, whatever it's called, the ground hot ground we walked into there he was shaking so they had like dog trees so they gave him some dog trees and um or we gave him dog trees and he was okay so that's what we're doing i don't think we're gonna be doing much today honestly um we kind of chilled yesterday i made a post on my instagram story how i really feel like i don't take any type of time for myself like i don't take self care days i don't take mental health days i don't you know i may not post on my page but i 
I think I told you guys I run another page, so I'll be posting on their page, creating content for them, being creative for them. Um, so I really don't get like time off. I don't get a chance to sleep in. You know, I'm tired. Like I'm just mentally exhausted, burnout. We didn't go to church yesterday, which is huge. It's a lot. Like I feel like our Sunday, like our weekends, y'all, really are not a weekend. Like we're tired on Saturday. We chilling, you know, getting errands done, cleaning up the house. Sunday, we're at church from 6 a.m. to like 12:30. So you know, it's a lot. You know, and then by the time we get home, we just want to nap, and then our day is over with. You know, we get our food, and that's it, and it's back to the real world. Five days, which is pretty much. For everybody but if you don't go to church i see like the extra amount of like really relaxation that you have and that's no like no shades of the church absolutely not i love going to church just you know all i know but um you know being able to have that extra time felt amazing i'm not gonna even lie get it out then. hey wait i know you're spoiled and you got a new toy and everything huh must be nice i never got any new toys Breath. For his bro, oh, praise God, hallelujah, shit, the bullshit. Palm refresh, fragrance spray, we bless the Lord. He buy Shata Rotashi, KT, so some eye wipes for homeboys, little teary eyes, is he a cry boy? And we bless the Lord on my soul, I buy shit, yes, God. May we bless the Lord. I'm letting you know right now, that will never be me. Nope. <laughs> you can't even see the color. Oh, you stink. <laughs> really bad car accident um we just turned from over there too um so now we are we went ended up getting some baskin robins they wouldn't let us keep the dog in there which it's understandable um she was like cute dog but you know i'm a dog lover but we can't have them so that's fine so they got chocolate chip camila got cookies and cream i got a chocolate shake and it's whack i'm about to have some major gas because i was gassy last night I keep forgetting why this is taller. Santa Monica right now and we just got our nails done. Mm -hmm. Baby girl's in the back. She got her feet done. We got, oh, she got my her feet done. My sister. Not yeah. my sister. Okay, so we're sitting on, what street is this? Euclid. It's like Montana and 11th in Santa Monica. Like around there. Okay, so what's like another street that people would know if they're not, really don't know the area? Like Wilshire. So we're by the promenade kind of. Yeah, we're not that far from the not too we're far from Palisades. Okay, so okay there you go. Know Palisades. Okay. So we're sitting um in the, in my car, obviously. And um so we see these 
we see these people sitting or getting out of their car across the street from us. Are we allowed to like show people's homes? Like? I think as long as you block out the address and their license plates on their cars. Oh, I never do that either. Oh, that's like that's like a bad thing. Ooh, that's, that's the only precaution know. I would take. That's legally, I would be know. like, that's the only thing legally people could be upset about. Oh my goodness. That's yeah, that's good to know. So I'm gonna show you the house. Um, but we're sitting out here and Melanie's like, how much do you think it's going for? Clearly we're in California, so it's gonna be over a million, point blank period. But I said three million. Right, so here's the data. All right, it's oh, yeah, a, go ahead, go ahead. shoot quicker it's four bedroom four bedrooms two and a half baths three three thousand seven hundred square feet not even four thousand almost four thousand square feet <laughs> almost don't count like brandy said okay <laughs> and it is for how much 5.16 million dollars oh hell no it's cute can you see the picture that's what I said. I said, if you come out to LA in California and you you can if you can make it in Cali financially, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> New York and California, you can make it. Cause God, okay, let me show y'all the house. I'm gonna be real yeah, sneaky. Please. And guess how much the ooh, if you wanted to pay rent for something that size, oh, uh, seventeen thousand dollars a month. I don't understand. Not, oh, seventeen thousand, girl. I thought I heard her <laughs> Jesus, my mind don't even go up to thousand. Let me zoom in. I don't want nobody seeing me. Kind of behind the tree, but it's, it's right there, so it's cute. So then, when they walked out, I was like, Oh, it must be nice to be rich, right? And then but you know, he tried to play them. I did, was like, oh, I was like, She rich. got it. I was, I was like, like, She had a forerunner, but I don't mean nothing. I don't want to be judgmental, but I mean, like, you know, the area is really nice, you know. But all these houses are between three and, and like this, six million dollars. These are between three and six. Look, if you go to Atlanta, okay, remember when we was driving around Atlanta, we were uh, oh, driving around. Ooh. We were driving around um, Atlanta and doing the same thing, and they were like, "What? Four hundred thousand? Yeah, something like that. Something <laughs> probably less than that. That's. I just can't do the weather. I, I don't know how you did that in uh, Virginia. A lot of sweating. I'm talking about like rain and stuff. Like rain. I, I hate that rain. It loves humidity. rain. I hate rain. I need sun. It affects my mood. Anyway, let's get all these rich people houses. I mean, homes, and neighborhoods. Um, and we're gonna get some food and um, yeah, so I just want to add on to this vlog because I was vlogging earlier like last week. Oh, talking about we got a puppy, so I need to add on anyway. We can drive through that. Must be nice to be rich. Mm. I mean, keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice to be rich. Where's it gonna go? Can you set it off? <laughs> the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move